guys. Let's we're going to do a series on starting a QuickBooks online um, file for your rental property. So let's uh, go through how that works. So a lot of times, here's your decision is you have to decide, you know, which one you're going to buy. And of course, you want to buy the Simple Start because it's the least money. It's going to cost $30 a month after the promo. The issues with Simple Start, it's only one user and probably only one accountant user. And it will be more limited. But I always say in the beginning, if it's just you, just um, start with that because you can always upgrade. Just don't ever get self-employed, which they don't even show here, because you can never convert that and move it up. Plus, you can have multiple users. So if you had um, an employee or, or something like that, you and the employee or other people could use it. Now, this, this is different than if you're using an outsourced bookkeeper. They would normally have an accountant um, account, and you would link up that way. So it doesn't, the accountant and bookkeeper most files have two um, slots for accounts. So you have one for the bookkeeper, one for the CPA. Okay. The issue that I come into mostly with um, my clients is if they have multiple properties in one LLC and they want to be able to track the, the different properties, then I usually recommend getting classes and you can only get classes with advanced. It used to be the middle one, you could get classes, but now you can't. So I'm just trying to, it doesn't even show classes here, but, and that's where I would say, that's why you have to go to the advanced and it's expensive, it's $200. But um, QuickBooks has said that they're no longer gonna sell the desktop version and to anyone new. So I think you're just, you know, if you have a commercial, or even a residential rental property, you're gonna, you're either gonna be spending between $100 and $200 a month per QuickBooks file. You simple start if you're just really gonna just be you running the QuickBooks and you don't have multiple properties or let's say buildings within one LLC. Okay, so that's kind of where you start out. You can start in plus, um, but the big thing is the classes, and then that puts you in advance. The only other nice thing about advance is it lets you have a very extensive chart of accounts. So I'm going to pick Simple Start because I'm not going to do classes right now. So I'll click Select. Okay. Most real estate investors do not have payroll. Maybe if you're running a management company for um, some of your properties, then that management company, you would probably have payroll. If you have, um, you know, different employees who are helping maintain the property and maybe an on-site bookkeeper if you're in a residential. Um, most of our clients, we only really take commercial real estate, so we normally don't have that. Okay, so it says continue without payroll. So it's giving me 50% off for the first three months, and I guess they're offering a guided setup. I would be careful with that part. Okay, here's the other thing. If you've ever created an Intuit account, either for desktop and things like that, um, you're gonna wanna figure that out and reset your passwords. So you don't have five different QuickBooks online accounts. So I already have an account, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Okay, so I've entered my credit card. I already logged in and I started a new subscription. And then you're going to see what it's doing right now. Okay. So this is somewhat important, but not totally because you can always um, do things later. Okay. So it's going to try and sell a lot of services. I'm going to call this the 2024. It's December. We're almost there. Um, real estate QuickBooks. Right. So you're going to name it. the name. I would name it your LLC name. If you're a sole proprietor and you're owning your properties in your personal name, then maybe use the address. It just kind of depends. 
Okay. What I would never recommend anymore is doing a conversion from QuickBooks Desktop. I think this is a perfect time, beginning of year, to start a brand new file. Save that desktop file. Do not import it. Um, I have, I used to do imports and conversions all the time. I find there's just too many issues, and it's really built for a, an accrual basis um, file. That's the only time I would do the conversion. So you should just try and say nothing. I'm getting started. And a lot of this, they're just kind of collecting data. It, this under Anything you answer here does not matter. So most LLCs, you're like a single member LLC. Again, this won't matter either. It's just trying to then maybe sell you other things. I move my Zoom thing out of the way. So this would be more like a management. And here you're you're setting this up for yourself or pretending you're not having a, your bookkeeper do it. So here it's saying, if you have a, a bookkeeper, you could connect it. And there's other times you could do that too. That's where you'd send the accountant invitation. They're selling um, their own bookkeeping service. Don't, while you're starting out, start connecting apps. And one of the worst ones to connect, in my opinion, is PayPal. So I would really not do that. You need to know what you're doing before you start connecting apps. Okay, so here's certain things it's it's asking. One of the things I would do, depending on how, you know, what you're doing, but you might want to send and track invoices to tenants. You might want to do a free guided setup. Why not if it's free? Shouldn't be doing estimates or quotes. Real estate, you're not going to have inventory or sales tax normally unless you're a commercial one. Like I actually have a client who has sales tax on commercial property down in Florida. So this isn't bad either if you set up online payments or QuickBooks, but you have to, you know, there's so many different factors and there you would have all the fees and so forth. So we're going to skip that for now because I don't have. Now, the key to that is you only want to link a bank account that you're really truly using for your property. So even if you're a sole proprietor, if you have a rental property, you should be keeping that segregated from your personal life. So even if you don't have an LLC, please go get a bank account that you use strictly for your rental properties. And then this is where you would then connect it. Same thing for a credit card. If, if you're just a person and you don't have, um, sometimes too with LLCs, it's a pain but just get one credit card that you use strictly for your um, real estate investing and you would connect that to your QuickBooks. Don't commingle and create yourself so much work by connecting a personal credit card that also has your personal groceries and you know your normal just general living expenses. You don't want to have that mingling. So make sure you get a bank account and a credit card that are strictly for the property. This is just bringing up that once you have these things connected, you can use the app to take pictures of the receipts and it can help post it. I'm not going to go into that right now. Okay, that is the end of part one of our series on how to get started regarding um, signing up for your QuickBooks file.